Welcome back to the PLG 123. Today we're talking about why PLG companies grow faster. Let's dive in. PLG companies have the ability to grow faster than non-PLG companies, like way faster. Case in point, Zoom during the pandemic. Zoom's ARR shot up from 752 million to 3.5 billion in one year. They added 2.75 billion of ARR in a year, and it represented 370% annualized growth at massive scale. And this would not have happened if Zoom was a traditional sales-led SaaS business. When the pandemic hit, anyone and everyone, I mean, literally everyone flocked to Zoom which you'll remember before the pandemic was a B2B video conferencing solution that really only corporate folks and enterprise folks were familiar with. But as the masses came to Zoom, we saw everything from Zoom weddings to Zoom telemedicine to Zoom hosting SNL to Zoom school for students of all ages, even Zoom religious services, and of course, a whole lot of work from home. If Zoom had required all of these prospects, the masses to talk to sales and go through a traditional B2B sales funnel, most of them would have gone elsewhere and they would have not used Zoom. First off, there aren't enough salespeople in the world and you can't ramp them fast enough to respond to all that demand in such a short period of time. So you have to triage, which means you use a rigorous qualification framework to weed out all the bad prospects from the top of the funnel and only focus on the best fit, highest margin customers. And look, if this was the case, if Zoom had been sales led and not product led, the company would have still grown like crazy in the pandemic. However, However, it would have not added that full $2.7 billion of ARR because again, a lot of that business that came to them would have been weeded out of the top of the funnel and triaged out for lack of sales capacity or lack of ICP fit. So zooming out to the physics of PLG, why do PLG companies grow faster? It's because in PLG, you can say yes to literally everyone, just like Zoom did. PLG offers a self-service funnel with easy signup, freemium pricing, and lots of reasons to swipe the credit credit card and convert to paid on a self-service basis. And all of that, the entire engine of your business is available and open 24 seven, 365 days a year to anyone in the world with a web browser. So with PLG and self-service, you say yes to everyone. Your store is always open and the cash register is ringing around the clock. Needless to say, this is super different from a sales led playbook where you use a qualification framework like Medic or MedPick or something similar to say no to as many prospects as possible because they're time wasters. Traditional SaaS is labor intensive. There's long sales processes, complex implementation, lots of ongoing training and support and account management, and the humans doing these processes and running the business behind the software product, they're expensive and you only have so many of them. So you need them to be laser focused on only the best customers. So the sales team at the top of the funnel then acts a lot more like a bouncer at an exclusive club rather than a greeter at Walmart. So PLG allows software companies to embrace their inner Walmart and become a mass market phenomenon. And guess what? Walmart still is the biggest company in the world by revenue. So welcoming everyone clearly works. Well, that does it for today on the PLG 123. Make sure to follow me for more videos featuring VC perspectives on today's top stories.